30 years ago, in 1990, the first ever ethno took place in Falun, Sweden, and was part of the Falu Folk Music Festival program. The idea came from the festival director Magnus Beckström. In the first edition, Ethno only had participants from Northern Europe, and mostly fiddlers. Little did they know of how far Ethno would spread across the world. But what was the idea and the intention behind Ethno? And what can they see now, looking back, knowing how Ethno has grown and developed? Oj, förlåt. I... <laughs> Hej! <laughs> Hallå! <laughs> Hi there! Uh, my name is Magnus Beckström. Um, more than 30 years ago I uh, got this idea about what later became ethno. A remarkable thing already from the start. And it's even more remarkable now, I think, with uh, spread all over the world. It's fantastic. Yay! <laughs> Hello, I am Susanne Lind, and I was a participant the first year. And uh, then I've had the opportunity to be an artistic leader for many, many years in Sweden. I remember the, the 1990, the first year in, in Fallen, and, and the, the, I especially remember the, the uh, night at the Stonsham Lake mm -hmm. with the fires and the mm -hmm. dances and the singing and so on. I wanted to take part in this, but no, I'm an adult. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really strong memories, strong memories from mm. this. I mean, when I came home, it felt like it felt like the best week in my life. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, this to to make friends—that's a big part of it—to make friends from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed uh, in myself that it makes me it, it makes me more global to have friends all mm -hmm. over the world. It becomes real in a way. The yeah. world is it is in my heart. Yeah, yeah, and it it has affected me too in my. I mean, that I became a musician, that I w mm. have been working as a musician for 25 years. I had no idea, and I'm sure that Ethno has inspired me. Mm. And it has really inspired me in my, when I do performances for children. Mm. Uh, I always have some Ethno feeling in my, in my performances. And, and also, it's, it's, been, it's been great to have the knowledge of, of knowing tunes from different uh, cultures. Mm. You had an interesting idea there that, that the leaders should uh, not teach the mm. tunes, but mm. the participants themselves. Yeah, mm. uh, because um, with all these uh, this many music cultures uh, present, there, there are no teachers that can cover all this, so you have to rely on each individual to bring what they have, uh, sharing and and getting from the others. It strengthens the, the, the identity of the individual as a, as a young person. If you get into that role you, you, and you succeed, which you almost often do, because you get support from all the others, yeah. and then you get, um, you get this, you strengthen your identity and you will say, I got something. <laughs> To me, it's fascinating to 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 uh, to notice that so many people around the world are um, they they think this uh, way of teaching is or the formula of, of teaching is so uh, exceptional. To me, it's the, no, the normal way that us, the fiddlers in Sweden and all around the globe I know they work they do this they they teach 
uh, have you heard this song? Come learn it. <laughs> and then you also learn something from the others. It's, it's the normal way to yeah, do it. Yeah, it's natural. <laughs> it's very natural. Yeah. <laughs> to me, in the in start, before the first ethno in 1990, uh, I understood I couldn't um, take part as a leader in ethno myself since I was very busy with this big festival that, that was going on at the same time. So it was, but it was so important for me to find persons that could understand my vision mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, let's say, uh, sit, on, sit on their hands, not becoming a teacher, mm -hmm. which is very easily done <laughs> because that's so normal to be a teacher to young people and now you have to sit on your hands and let them uh, do the thing and and uh, so it was very so important to me to to uh, coach the leaders the first years to to understand this vision and to understand the, the role of leadership in this context yeah, and which was which was a bit different, very easy, but again very difficult. <laughs> it could yeah, be very difficult. Yeah. So you leaders that adopted this, that understood this vision, and and uh, settled this in the ethno culture, uh, uh, the importance of of that is beyond uh, one of the most important things with ethno ever is mm. is uh, that you carry this. Uh, attitude on. Otherwise, Ethna wouldn't have become what it has become. Mm. This crazy thing. Mm -hmm. 30 plus countries all yeah. over the world. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. I cannot understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's seemingly serious. Now, 30 years later, it's the same. Mm. Seemingly. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> I remember the, the leaders as very inspiring and kind of happy and, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging mm -hmm. and also, you know, uh, uh, jamming along with us, yeah. that also very, very fun. Mm -hmm. The energy and yeah. the positive yeah. vibrations the from the person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it, as, as a participant, I, I imagine it, it's also a very strong creative input yeah. that you understand oh music can sound like this or mm. you can do like that it can mm. you can work with music or a song or a tune like this mm. <laughs> out of my perspective before but now I, you get an input uh, and uh, as that you can use as much as you want yeah, uh, yeah. and in mm. the way you want yeah i remember a percussionist who came and and uh, and he protested when the in uh, when an, the Indian song was being teached that no they play wrong. Mm. <laughs> he had never heard this you know seven beat or eleven no, no, no. beat rhythm yeah. before, so he said no. Yeah. You play. Yeah. But then slowly stepping back and aha uh -huh, okay wow. And then I mean you know c coming from that you only play in four s straight yeah, yeah, yeah. beat to open up to wow the rhythm can be like this. I mean something happens. Yeah. And isn't it strange that this music, which is often very local or regional, uh, it gets so well together with a, a global perspective and a global uh, unity? Yeah. Isn't it strange and fantastic yeah. at the same time? Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. And it's uh, needed, this, uh, this global... Uh, community and this understanding and this uh, love uh, for for uh, other people and, and uh, empathy for other people from all cultures is much more needed now than ever before in, in my lifetime. I think that the ethno might have been a kind of vaccine against xenophobia. Yeah. You know, it's, mm. I think it's uh, around uh, 1,500 Swedish musicians that have been 
uh, experiencing ethno. Throughout the years, yeah. Throughout the mm, years. Mm, mm, mm. Making yeah. friends from all over the world, knowing yeah. how, how much, how rich the life becomes if, you, if you're curious mm. about other uh, yeah. cultures and music. <laughs> If everyone would play the same music, mm. it would not happen. No. I mean, it's so important that everyone has their uniqueness mm. and we come together and we do something together mm. with all this uniqueness. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a celebration of the richness of the yes. world and the ri yes. richness of uh, the human being. Mm. It's, it's fantastic. Mm. I was very serious about ethno, the idea with ethno, it was and serious, very serious, and very ambitious in a, in a very abstract sense, uh, uh, but I could never, so it was a really important thing to me, and, uh, but I could never, never uh, think that it would be, become a, a global <laughs> thing <laughs> and and uh, being a phenomena that that is uh, all uh, all over the world it's uh, and the, that it i think it still increases the number of ethnos around the world yeah, yeah and often it could be that a participant who really felt this you know ethno spark and what is really happening that they have the their own experience of it and then they, they bring this strong feeling to mm, their home mm, yeah. country and, mm. and start it there. That's mm. fantastic. Mm. Yeah, it's a big ethno family now. It's a big ethno family. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like a big peace project this, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I'm so happy to live in a world where there are ethnos all over the world. This is this is where I want to be.